It's all up to budget and space when deciding on a van life toilet. Keep watching to see which toilet I use in my van. Hi everyone, I'm Nala. Today we are going to talk about van life toilets, excluding the permanent flushable toilets and black tanks. Van life toilets can be expensive and need an extra space to live in, like the Nature's Head composting toilet. As you can see, it costs over $1,000 and it needs a material like peat moss for the composting process. The Nature's Head toilet separates your solids from your fluids. Depending on use, you can get away with dumping your number two compartment once a month and the number one compartment once a week. Next up is the Gazette toilet. The Porta Pie 365 has a four gallon freshwater tank and a 5.5 wastewater tank. Your solids and your fluids go into this tank. There's an indicator light on this toilet to let you know when it's ready to dump. When you're ready to dump, separate the tank from the top of the toilet and there's a pivoting spout that allows dumping it a lot easier. Next is the least expensive Luggable Lou, and this is the toilet I use in my van. The Luggable Lou is basically a five gallon bucket with a snap on seat and lid. And the lid helps with any kind of smell, but I only use my Luggable Lou for number one. So what do I do about number two? Well, in case of an emergency, I keep on hand double duty bags that fit into my Luggable Lou. I rarely use them. My main routine in the morning is, and planning ahead, is to be near a 24-hour Walmart, grocery store, park, or anywhere like that I can get to a bathroom in the morning and take care of my morning business. So where do I empty my luggable loo? In the mornings, after I take care of my morning business, I'll go to a park that has a bathroom or a Jiffy John. If I'm in a primitive camping area, I just walk it up into the woods and pour the liquids out there. If number two, if there's a bathroom, I use the bathroom. If that's not available at a primitive camping area, I have my double duty bags to use. And you can get rid of those in any trash can or dumpster. I hope this information was helpful for you. If so, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I'll put a link for everything in the descriptions below. And as always, thanks for watching.